Our preview of the Lexus LS included a short drive of some early engineering mules. Engineers were still finalizing powertrain calibrations, so we can't comment on the twin turbo 6 at this time. But with the optional air springs, the ride is excellent, and the rear wheel steering helps the LS feel surprisingly nimble without compromising straight line stability. The steering is satisfyingly hefty and the brake pedal progressive. The original LS won the first comparison test we threw it into in 1989. We'll find out in another year or so if its latest descendant can repeat that feat. At its launch, the LS will be powered by an all-new twin-turbo charged 3.5-liter V6. The 60-degree block and heads are aluminum, and a pair of turbos developed in-house are integrated into the exhaust manifolds. The engine's signature, however, is an exceptionally long stroke 100.0 mm in an 85.5 mm bore that Nuxus claims enables the engine to achieve new levels of thermal efficiency. It also allows it to make 414 horsepower and 443 pounds feet of torque. From the outside, it appears as though Lexus thinks Infinity and Mazda do Japanese style well. Aside from lesser Lexus, it's the form language of those brands that the LS emulates most, with its flowing compound curved juts that posed against shop creases. Rear wheel drive is standard on the LS, while all wheel drive will be an option. A hybrid will join the lineup shortly. And with the Germans all packing V8s and even V12s in their full size sedans, Lexus would be foolish to cap the LS at six cylinders. We do not believe Lexus is foolish. Backing up the 6 is an all-new S and 10-speed automatic. Like the Ford or GM 10-speed that recently made its debut in the F-150 and Camaro ZL1, it's aimed more at packaging CVT-like flexibility into a traditional automatic than stretching the overall ratio spread though, of course, it does achieve the latter as well.